Bewitching, isn't she? I know you. Weren't you the concierge in Pretty Woman? Yes, I'm Hector Elizondo. I've played a concierge in over 400 movies and TV pilots. Acting pays the bills so I can pursue my true passion. Concierging. I don't mean to ignore your strange monologue, but can't take my eyes off this enchanting vision. The moment I saw her, I felt as if I'd met her before. Impossible. The great artist Patrick Nagel painted her while staying in this hotel in 1981. Then I'm too late to meet her. God, if it were only 1981 again. Well, young man, perhaps it can be. All right, Steve, this is exactly how your hotel room looked in 1981. Whoa, a waterbed. So, basically, I just concentrate as hard as I can that I'm in 1981, and I'll be transported back in time to meet my dream girl from the painting? Yes, Steve. What is so hard to understand about that? Okay, it's May 14th, 1981. President Jimmy Carter leaves the White House in disgrace. Pope John Paul II is shot in Rome by a deranged Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter kidnaps and devours 13 Christian babies. Hmm. Maybe I should have read a real history book instead of the one Dad wrote. Did it work? Is it 1981? Roger? Damn it, it didn't work. Who's Roger? The name's Reaganomics Lamborghini, jacuzzi dealer. Want to smoke cocaine out of my pipe made from a Rubik's Cube? Ah! 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 Sir, are you all right? I was sitting on this waterbed, minding my own business, when it spontaneously exploded. I demand a week of free rooms or I'll sue the crap out of you. Wait a second. I made it! It's 1981! You're a genius. Sun-faded prints of your paintings will never be found in Korean hair salons. Mr. Nagel, sir, I have traveled a great distance to see you. You paint my dream girl today, and I need to know who she is. Oh, I'm touched by your passion, young man. I'll help you on your lover's quest. But first, share in some cherry wine. Um, cherry wine tastes pretty weird. That's because I put a bunch of weird, illegal things in it. <laughs> <laughs> Nagel, you son of a bitch, let's drug some kids. Oh, are you kidding me? You already cut the turkey? Hey, sleepyhead. What? What happened? You passed out. It's a shame. You missed the creation of my latest masterpiece. She was here? And I missed her? No, my dear Smurf, you are her. While you slumbered, I stripped you naked, placed a black wig on you, put a cougar in your lap, and... <laughs> Voila! No! Ah! The girl in the painting was you, wasn't it, Steve? How? H how did you know? Because I was once in love, too.